So here it is, the 2021 Kona Rogue LTD in 650B tires. It comes with the GRX component group, cranks, rear derailleur, hydraulic brakes. Comes with WTB 650B by 47 tires, ventures, um, chromoly frame, carbon fork. It does have the three mounts for the anything cages there. Um, has mounts on the bottom for an additional water bottle holder. It does not have them on the top top tube though, which doesn't bother me, but might bother some. Also has mounts for the rear rack. Um, I did switch out the handlebars to the salsa cowbells. They're very similar to the stock ones. I just like the drops a little bit better on the cowbells. Um, put some Revel 8 bags on it. Um, this is a size small bag. Uh, fits in there really well. The new gas tank and a feed bag. Um, seat is a WTB SL8, which I really like a lot. Um, the color is a very, very rich kind of cherry red. Um, when it's dark or shadowy, it almost looks black. It's a very rich looking color. Goes really well with the brown or black. Um, riding impressions. Um, I'm very impressed with the bike. Um, this is my first 650B. I have uh, several other bikes in the 700C, 29ers and 26s. Um, I would say it keeps up pace with the 700C bike with probably 700 by 38. I have a giant advanced revolt. Um, similar pace, I'd say that bike's maybe a little bit faster, but not much. If I probably change the tires to a smoother tire, it would probably hold its own against it, um, but a much nicer, smoother ride. Um, if I had to summarize the bike, it's extremely playful. Um, it keeps a really good place, uh, pace. And just like the bike overall, the ride's great. Very uh, nimble, flexible, climbs well, accelerates very well, maintains speed well. Uh, the Venture tires are uh, impressed me a little bit. They roll pretty well, grip a little bit. Uh, Satisfactory, I think, is on dirt and gravel. They do throw up stones a little bit and they get stuck on the treads a little bit. I'm riding mostly pavement today, so you don't see too many stones, but the, hopefully they'll get a little better as they wear in more. Uh, I put about 100 miles on this bike so far in the past week when I first got it. Um, took about three weeks to get in once I contacted the dealer. Brakes work good. The GRX is definitely on par with 105 performance, maybe a little bit better. Yeah, it's a great bike, great looking bike, and looking forward to putting many more miles on it.